get Boucher for his birthday. His 30th birthday? Uh, I don't even know yet, man. I win. But big, big shout out to CB on his birthday, man. More life. <laughs> what has it felt like playing with those bench lineups lately? Uh, I wouldn't say it feels different. Either way, we go out there, we're trying to win each quarter, uh, win each possession. So at the end of the game, we can have the dub. You know, that's what we try to do. Does your approach change at all, you know, compared to playing with the starters, where obviously there's a lot of different options, you know, having to sustain the offense for lack of a No, either line up I'm with or whoever's on the floor, whoever I'm out there with, go out there and play basketball, you know, to the, the best that I can, you know, trying to help a teammate, you know, get off, or I get off in a sense, but, you know, just trying to win. That's most important. Yeah, when, you, when you look at the, how well you've been playing the last uh, 15 games or so, compared to that streak in, I think, November, when you were something pretty bad in about 10, 10 games or so. I was bad. <laughs> me, I was bad for 10 games? Right? Slump. What's the slump? Uh, just shooting percentage off. Uh, okay. Right on. Right on. Um, yeah, just by numbers. Yeah. The, um, like, do you kind of look at when you're going good versus when you're not going good and go and trying to find what's different? Not even. My approach is the same. Yeah. Make or miss. Again, I'm going to put in the work so uh, I can sleep at night. I'm going to lay my head down comfortably. I believe in my craft. I believe in my work. I trust my work. Continue to do that. Good games, bad games. Again, it's already written. It's going to be what it's going to be. How much of it is just getting healthy for you? Uh, well, you know, everybody deal with certain things, bumping bruises, you know, that really can't be an excuse that you can run with or go with, you know. No matter what, you out there, you got to do a job. Go out there, play hard, and do your job to your best ability. You guys reached the halfway point last night. You're about three games back of last year's pace, but, and then you had that big run last year in the second half. What is it that's going to get you on that run for the next, this time, this time around? Like, is it, is it one end of the court over the other, or? I mean, the obvious answer is wins, but... Yeah, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say just everybody, coaches, staff, players, just dig deep within themselves. You know, find somewhere in themselves to... Uh, it's a bigger picture, it's a bigger goal, it's a bigger thing. Everybody's trying to accomplish one goal here, which is win. Everybody need to do something in some way, shape, or form to sacrifice to that. And I feel like that would be the best way for everything to be smooth sailing. Obviously, you guys pulled out the win last night, but there were some defensive lapses. How difficult is it? And what stands out to you about the combination between Ball and Rozier? So that one with Ball and Rozier? Yeah. Oh, yeah, phenomenal talents. The way they scored a basketball, their numbers called, they're, they're being aggressive, they're attacking, they scored a ball at a high level, you know, just try to lock in on the little details of things, try to lock in on Rozier a little bit more, try to lock in on LaMelo, try to take them out of the game plan and what they originally do and what they're comfortable doing and really just try to make them uncomfortable and that'll really give us the best chance to be successful and to lock them up. Is that more like denying passing lanes or getting in their space a little bit more? It could be denying passing lanes, it could be playing harder, it could be boxing out, again, the little details. So whether it's boxing out, whether it's not fouling on defense, whether it's staying sound, whether it's talking to one another, you know, so those little things that help a lot. Nick? Uh, Chris was here and here talking about how he's noted that you've been improving as a passer as well, especially now that, especially when you're in the second year, you're the first option, there's a lot of guys on you. How much of you can add that passing element to your game as well? Well, literally, you know, whatever opportunity presents itself, obviously with that second unit, it's more of a, like a rotation and pass it and try to get guys going with the start lineup. You know, everybody can get it in a sense. It's, I mean, you're trying to get to it in a sense, but really just trying to, you know, get the ball moving, get the flowing with the second unit, make sure everybody, you know, getting their touches and type of thing like that. So really just trying to play and make sure everybody's smooth selling and we just keep going. And you're out there a lot with Malachi in that second unit right now. Um, he's going through a little bit of a shooting slump just in the last week or so. How do you sort of get him out of that streak and get him back to where he was going to start again? Tell him no matter what, keep shooting. It's going to come and believe in your work. You know, he came in here, he one of the first ones in here. He in the gym getting to it. So that's all he really can do. Again, if you work and you put the hours in and it's time after time, you can sleep at night. Make, miss. You know, if you put the work in, you're good. Nick described you as very professional. Some of the stuff you're saying right now is just the work ethic coming in. Is that from, you know, growing up around NBA guys and being in locker rooms and stuff? And where does that come from? It, it could be a splash of that, but really it's just from my father. You know, he instilled in me early on what it's going to take, 
you know, bumps in the roads that may present itself. Again, you can't control none of that, but only control what you can control. You know, stay solid to yourself, stay true to yourself. Don't be hating on nobody. You know, go out there, have all love, positivity. And at the end of the day, no matter what he's telling me, he's telling me, have fun. No matter what's going on, no matter up and down, no matter not enjoying it, enjoying it, mad, sad, have fun with it. You know, you playing the NBA, you living out your dream, a lot of people kill for your position, so, yeah. Your shooting percentage is within 10 feet of the basket, way up to last season. Was that any kind of focus for you in the offseason? Most definitely. I really wanted to focus on, you know, I need to get my left hand better. I need to get my ball hand a little bit better, my playmaking a little bit better, and that's everything. I just try to attack, you know, come back with something new, come back better every single year, and continue to just show and prove, you know. But, again, continue to get on that, continue to work on that, continue to try to excel that, you know, so. At the end of last season, you had said that um, someone you really took from in terms of their approach was Pascal. Was there anything from his approach that you actually, like, incorporated into it? I wouldn't say really, like, I took – stole his blueprint but I would just you know his approach obviously you know he comes in he puts in the work you know good game bad game he's gonna work obviously you know it's I already knew that and it's good to see that but when you got Pascal doing it and leading the way and everybody see it and follow it can't do nothing but do the dominoes fall in effect so you know it's, it's it's cool it's great to have guys here that work and you know he's not the only one Freddie comes in put the work as well OG come in put the work Scotty's working on his game as well too so you know everybody's trying to get better and trying to improve and you know, trying to take a jump.